Raymond, sit down. It's time for us to have a serious discussion. The plan is that you will be dressed as a priest to help you get away in the pandemonium afterwards. Chun Chin will get you a two-piece army sniper's rifle that fits nicely into a special bag. There's a spotlight booth that won't be in use. It's up under the roof on the 8th Avenue side of the garden. You will have absolutely clear protected shooting. You are to shoot the presidential nominee through the head. And then Johnny will rise gallantly to his feet with Ben Arthur's body in his arms, face the cameras and begin to speak. The speech is short, but it's the most rousing speech I've ever read. It's been worked on here and there, on and off for over eight years. And then I will force someone to take the body away from him. Johnny will face those cameras and microphones with blood all over him, fighting off anyone who tries to help him, defending America even if it means his own death, rallying a nation of television viewers into hysteria to sweep us up into the White House with powers that will make martial law seem like anarchy. Now this is very important. I want the nominee to be dead precisely when he finishes the phrase. Now would I ask of any fellow American in defense of his freedom that which I would not gladly do myself, my life before my liberty. Is that absolutely clear? I know you will never entirely comprehend this, Raymond, but you must believe I did not know it would be you. I served them. I fought for them. I'm on the point of winning for them the greatest foothold they will ever have in this country, and they paid me back by taking your soul away from you. I wanted an assassin. I asked them to build me a killer from a world filled with killers. And they chose you because they thought it would bind me closer to them. But now we're almost to the last. One last step. And when I take power, they will be brought down and ground into dirt for what they did to you. and what they did in so contemptuously underestimating me.